And they'd have to do a lot of it as well. Well, Volta first to finish. He's got six on 104, but he can wrap it up here if he could pin the double 16. The and the week kickstarts of a ton topping checkout. Two 14s for game three nil. The third leg. And Bolton Andy is Bolton. in cruise control of this opening game of the week. It'd be his second ton plus out. He'd bookend the game with ton plus outs as game he finds double and 16. Match. And Andy, Andy Bolton, Bolton gets his campaign underway of a four nil victory. The X Factor looking to book a hat trick of appearances in Champions Week. Well, Hinehan's going at a quick pace. Double 10 to Game race into a 3 0 lead. 14 data. And you sense the way Hinehan has finished in this game, he's going to have to take this out. It looks like he knows he's going to have to take it out. Game and he does take it out. Darren Some plus shot out for Darren Armstrong. To round it off. For the man from round four, Tots of Conor Hinehan gets his campaign match. underway Connor with an Hinehan. average in excess of a ton. A 14 data to complete the job. A 4-2 victory against Darren Armstrong, who showed glimpses of his quality. But Janssen to take out the opening. They've already seen three ton topping finishes so far today. And if Danny Janssen can pin this double 16, we'll Game add a fourth the to the list to Danny, Danny Janssen. He now won't have a problem there. He's... Change doubles, double two. Game shot on the and second. He finally there. finishes it off, Connor and I think his it. little expression there. Forty-eight for Janssen could be a little bit close. Game no shot perfect the marker. There. A ton. We think it's all Whoa, bar over from the shouting, but no, Danny Janssen. It's a big max to try and get himself in it. And it's double 18 for a lovely 1-2-1 one, one finish from Carlo Van Peer. He gives a big fist pump to the camera. He's over the moon with that one. Oh, the trajectory slightly wrong. So Game that the big 140 there. visit Louis from Williams. Louis Williams has saved himself and he puts his first leg on the board. Need something to give you a lift. Could a break a throw here do it for Louis Williams? He's got two at it. Game he only on needs one. Leg. Louis Williams. Double 16 for Game the match. He wins. 4-2. Another defeat inflicted on Louis Williams early doors. It's a 4-2 win for Conor Heenahan. Both have a little chat at the end there. Tidy average from him. For him to actually, you know, you'd want that to come. And we've spoken about it, you know, winning maybe week 10, 11, Game 12. You go in with the there. momentum. And Andy Bolton. Andy Bolton once more. He doesn't do a brace of 13 darters, but he'd be happy to Game go on in 15. And that Danny could be answer. a big win in the context of the way this Group A pans out. You'll have to stay with us for the next couple of days to find out how big that is. But it's a nice win for Danny Janssen. 4-1 victory over Andy Bolton. He'll be pleased with. Broken if Armstrong can take out the 103. And he is going to get a chance. It's going to be tops. Game it's going to be 2-0 to there. Armstrong. Darren and for Armstrong. the second time today, Carlo Van Peer has had a 103 out hit against him. Two fives. Game and Armstrong crosses the, the finishing line. He gets Go the pet of Carlo Van Peer by four legs to one. And so the ADC Northwest qualifier is up and running here at the Super Series. Van Peer, well, he heads off stage. He's already won one game. He's won a one now. So is Adam, uh, sorry, Darren Armstrong. This would feel like a steal. This would be incredible. That would have been the fish netted by Louis. Yeah, he was a little bit away there. He probably feels he would live closer than that, but nice bit of camaraderie. Fist pump from Danny Janssen, appreciating the effort. Game shot on the second leg. Danny Janssen. This is Danny Janssen. Zeroes in on double eight. Now he moves across the double Game four and he hits it. The 
Mad. Then flicks Danny a 4 0 win on Louis Williams. Louis Williams looks a little dejected there. But nothing more than Danny Hansen can show. He's pleased to have the scarf of Louis Williams. With the way that the group stages work, um, you more or less get 50 50 on the start. So that's the best way to do it. Whereas if you do pull ups, game shot in the second leg. 18. Oh, Trevor Lee's double seven. Added bonus to Hinahan. And an excellent hit for Hinahan to lead 1 0. And looking to take out this 72 to level up. He has got a bit of time in this leg. Keenahan hasn't really made a dent. Game shot on the and seven. Pierre puts Come a perfect here. dent in that 72. Level we are, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, just a bit of a practice throw for Van Pierre there, trying to prepare himself for the next leg because you feel that this game one's shot gone. On the fifth and leg. Hopefully finish the game, game off. And that's exactly and what he's done. Connor Heenahan. Another 13 dart leg for Connor Heenahan. Sees him through. What could be a potential banana skin game there against Carlo Van Pier. It's been a good performance. And he's Go going to get the points the that come with it. Darren, Darren Armstrong. Armstrong beats Andy Bolton by four legs to two. Real good performance that. 92 average, four from 13 when it came to the finishing. And finished off with a 14 dart leg. There was one or two little wobbles. Connor Heenahan. Heads off to the 14s. Surely that's perfect. Game it was indeed. Used the dart. Lovely. A little hand. fist pump from him. We don't usually see that. Which route is he going? He does like downstairs. Travel 18 for double 16. And what another 105 we have. Danny the one-ton shots. Two eights. To move Game on to eight points. And Connor Heenahan has a real stranglehold on the top of the Group A table now. He has dismissed Danny Anton in a last leg to side a 4 to 3. He moves full clear at the top of the group. A game played in a great spirit, a great respect between the pair. As much time, really, as he wants to pick it off. It's tops. It's Game a win for Armstrong who moves into Go second on, place in the table, on to six points, and Louis Williams loses once again. It's going to be a dart at tops. Game and it's in for Van Peer. Two nearly leads with a break. Good knowledge, mate. That's around the time we were playing the UK Open at the Reebok. This would rock. Oh, Game that could rock Van Peer. A 1 5 4 Andy and a Bolton. juicy wiggle to boot. Two eights of Van Peer to complete Shot victory. And Andy Call Bolton, the bookmaker's favourite to go on and win this group A, finds himself second bottom with just one win from four. Double ten Game Shot is found. Man. Two for Darren nine Armstrong. on the finishing, but importantly, he's 2 1 up. To leave top, so Janssen under severe pressure. Two tries, not the only player to go this route for 25 today. Game shot on the sixth Darren round. Armstrong did so Danny earlier. Janssen. And Armstrong slaps his flights together and we go all the way. Man. By pinning double 12 and now double six. 27. A width of a wire away. Danny require 20. Those, the meagre margins that determine this sport. Game and Danny Janssen gets over Danny the line. Janssen. It was more relief than elation when that double 10 went in. You could even see it on his face as he went over to the camera just there. He has had to work for each and every single one of the six points that he's accrued today. Well, opportunity knocks here for Heenaham. It's knocking now. Game oh, shot and he takes it. It's there. another ton plus Corner shot Heenahan. out for the day in this group. Game shot and two eights is found by Bolton. Andy and he leads 3-2 and he's a leg away from becoming the first man to inflict defeat upon Conor Heenahan this week. And to become the first man to stop Conor Heenahan today. Double 16 is sank, and Andy Bolton bookends his day with victories. 
He beat Louis Williams 4-0 on his opener. That was then coupled with a few defeats and a little juicy, juicy wiggle to end. It was a juicy performance from Andy Bolton. He's got himself into a moment like this a couple of times. Game shot on the first. What a shot from Carlo Van Pier. So Van Pier to get over the line and to pick up three wins from his opening day. And he'll be Game happy enough with those efforts. As for Louis Williams, it's been a day to forget. So much so, the darts have been consigned to the carpet. Carlo Van Pier wins 4 0 in the last game of the day. Those are the stats on that one. Van Pier winning with an 80 average at 150 out as well. Louis Williams, five defeats from five to kickstart his Super Series campaign. Me and Scott are going to make the trip next door to talk about all of the day's action after this short break. <laughs> So that's a wrap as far as day one's action is concerned here at the Super Series. Myself and Scott have been watching every single dart go in over the course of the last four and a half hours. These are the results from the games that we have seen. It's been a really good day for Conor Heenahan. He won his first four, but defeating his last one to Andy Bolton means that his lead at the top of the table is a very slender one with just two points in hand and a number of players in behind as well on six points. Scott Mitchell, as I say, is alongside me to assess all the action that we've seen today. And for Conor Heenahan, particularly at the beginning of the day, he looked so comfortable, looked so at home and played some real good gritty stuff. Yeah, he did. He, he was finishing well early doors. He, he just bossed some of the games that he was, he, he was, it was, he was the man to beat. And then it came to that game against Andy Bolton. And for Andy Bolton, it was a bigger game than we give credit for. It's kept him on four points has kept him within four points of Conor Heenahan with, with 10 games for him to play. So, you know, I thought that game was very important for Andy. Conor, if he had started today, he would have took the fact that he'd have been, you know, top of the group on eight points, four points in front of his main rival he would see in his head. And I think at the start of the day, he'd have took that today. Very good day for Conor Heenahan. Also a good day for Danny Janssen. Lost his first game, but then really got in the groove, didn't he, in the middle of the session? Yeah, he did. But I, I think he was unlucky to lose that first game 4-3. Barry, um, Carlo Van Pier, sorry. Easy to say, Barry. We're going to get that wrong this week, yeah. Um, Carlo played really well in that game. But that was the one that sort of, whether it's because it was against, you know, his countrymen and... But that was the one that woke Danny up. And Danny then sort of turned to, to the races and, and started finding some really good darts. And then for Darren Armstrong, maybe the man we haven't spoken about so much today because we've seen Conor Heenan, because we've seen Danny Anson do what they do. But as far as debuts are concerned, that was really, really solid. If he plays at that level all week, he's going to be ultra competitive and will stand a very good chance. Because he's, no, he's a no-nonsense type player and he just gets on with it and gives nothing away. He's kind of gone under the radar for that reason alone. Not because he's not doing the standard. He's not, he's not making a meal of it. He's, he's just kind of going through the motions. This is what he always does. Obviously, wherever he plays and, and the times that I've seen him, I've never seen him making a fuss of big shot outs or big scores or 
And that's just the way he does it. And then sometimes those players do go under the radar and you don't always notice how good they are. But today he's been very, very good. Andy Bowen, how big could that last win be for him? Because performances wise, you actually break down the numbers. He's been OK, but a lot of the good stuff has been in spells rather than matches. Yeah, I agree with that. It's been over a couple of legs and then he's fallen away. But for me, that is, he'll, he'll leave pretty happy tonight. Yes, he would be disappointed he lost the three in the middle. But I think he then goes back having to play on the first game tomorrow. So he can catch another two points back on him immediately as the day starts. And all of a sudden he'll be on six points and Connor will still be sat there on eight. And, and I think that, that as tomorrow opens up, we will see how important that win was for Andy Bolton. And then Van Peer, Carlo Van Peer, really good debut day as far as he's concerned. Yeah, absolutely. And he's played well enough to have, have the points on the board that he's got. Maybe, you know, some could say maybe he should have a couple more. But he's, um, yeah, he's going to take a lot from today. He knows a lot more about today, as we, as all the guys that have been here for the first time. They will know more about their surroundings and, and, and they'll sleep better tonight for knowing where they're going tomorrow and what they're doing. It's, it's always not the best thing for a player going to a new venue and trying to work out where you've got to go, what you've got to do. They've now put all that to bed. That is all done and settled. They've had a throw on the stage that they've seen on the TV so much. And, you know, they're settled. And I'm looking forward to some more darts for them, like they were today. Should be good fun tomorrow. Right, let's see what the table's doing before we depart you this afternoon. Conor Heenahan leads away eight points to his name. But the lead is only two overnight. It could have been so much more from Danny Anson, Darren Armstrong and Carlo Van Peer in second, third. And fourth, respectively, and you get the sense tomorrow for Connor those first couple of games. When you consider it's Bolton, when you consider it's Janssen, could be so big. Absolutely, the plus for Connor tomorrow, he's got he's got Bolton first game, but I think he's got the darts tomorrow. So uh, that that's good. But because it's first game, you're cold and you're apprehensive, and you and you haven't played a match tomorrow. So how confident it would be in holding those darts? We'll see when we get here. Scott. Thank you for your company today. We'll do it bright and breezy first thing tomorrow, shall we? No problem with me. Can't wait to be here. We'll see you tomorrow morning as well, 9.30am on the Super Series YouTube channel. And now whilst you've got a few minutes, why don't you click that subscribe button and have a look at our other content as well, including pairs matches, our bullseye challenges and around the world challenges. But as far as day one is concerned, well, Conor Hinahan, he's the man. He's top of the pile. Pile, Hino is the hero.